Welcome to Merzig. In today's video, we'll be showing y'all a few things, anything from some shop work. We got some drivers here we'll be talking to, see what they got to say. Let's get straight into the video. That's us, that's right. Gotta love this American ride. We got owner operator Ivan here, y'all. He's been with us for a while. He's actually paid off this truck through our lease purchase. So let's start with that, man. What do you got to say to, to the people that say lease purchase is a scam? Well, that's, it depends the company. You know, sometimes there's companies who, who do things tricky, you know yeah. what I mean? To get drivers to buy those trucks and at the end they, they just scam them. But yeah. not with Merzik, I'm telling you, you know, I did this lease in three years, probably less, and it, it was great. Yeah. What's one place in America you hate going with the truck? New York City. New York City? <laughs> Why? Just New York City. It's just tricky, you know, the Bronx or Harlem, you know, Manhattan, uh, what was your Brooklyn, you know, it's just really difficult. But Long Island, all around New York City, no problem. But the city by itself is really tricky, so not for me. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you. A lot of guys have that answer. <laughs> yeah, but anywhere in the country is fine for me, you know? As long as the money's good. As long as the money's good, yeah, <laughs> you can send me anywhere. I hear that. <laughs> What's the hardest part about the business and being a truck driver? I guess, you know, some places the rates are really low, you know, and, and, and but you have to adapt, you know. If you're not doing well in one area, you have to go to the area where it's doing good, you yeah. know. And that depends on your dispatcher. You talk to him and you tell him, hey man, what is the hardest area? Yeah. And let's go there, you know, and trust your guy, you know, exactly. if, if you if you're nailing with me, you know, I'm with Mickey. So Mickey and I, we've been working for years now. So he knows what I like the best and he knows where is the hottest market for now, you know. Yeah. Would you say trucking is dead or is there still money to make out here? Well, if you're not a hardworking man, I don't <laughs> think trucking is for you. You know, you have to put the hours, you yeah. have to put the work, you know, this is America. There's. There's all, the only way you're gonna fail in America is if you're dumb and lazy. That's it. Oh yeah. If you're hard work and put the hours of time and you're smart enough to, to get around, you'll be fine. Yeah, you know? definitely. No yeah. one's gonna pay you to sit on the couch. Nobody, <laughs> nobody. And a lot of people don't wanna work, you yeah. know? So trucking is for hard working people. That, that's it. You yeah, know? quite as simple as that. Yeah. But nowadays they make it too easy to get your CDL too. So yeah, that that regulation is a problem. You know, I've been listening to a lot of hearings uh, in Congress and the DOT. You know, and, and they're lowering the standards. That ain't good. You know, yeah. you, you never know. You know what happened in Colorado? Remember that guy coming down a hill? Mm -hmm. He didn't speak English. You know, and don't get me wrong, I'm Mexican, <laughs> but you have to speak English in America. Yeah. That that's the deal. You know. Right, right. It's regulations down is not good, you know. Yeah. I mean, the CDL regulations. It depends you know? where you're at, you know. If you're in Miami, you don't even have to know English. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I get <laughs> you have to really know Spanish. Well, Miami. I get around really well. <laughs> <laughs> I went in Miami into a CVS and the lady just started yeah. talking Spanish. Yeah, so yeah, like, yeah. I'm like, oh, well, Miami practically, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Miami, you can't fix Miami anymore, you know. It's done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Are you an automatic guy or a manual? Manual, for the love of God. Automatic? <laughs> no, sir. Give me a break. Give me a break. Manual. What's wrong with automatic? Well, you know, for me, it's, I, I don't know. It, it, I, I guess I'm such, such a macho man, you know? <laughs> they, look, they're more efficient, the automatics. More efficient. But it's just, a, I'm old school, you know? I just can't, you know, it's not my pickup truck. You know what I mean? Yeah. If I'm on my pickup truck, Absolutely, automatic is the best thing. But for pulling stuff, I don't know. I feel the manual have something else to offer. And on the ice as well. If you're on ice, you know, manual standard is the best for the ice. Why? Tell the people why. Because when, when, when you're driving and you feel you, your truck moving a little bit, sliding a little bit, you can always pre press the clutch and release those gears and it goes straight back. You know, you have to do a lot of tricks. When you're driving on ice, sometimes if you brake a little bit harder, you know, it's going to jack a little bit, but you have to play with it. You know what I mean? And you have the clutch option. Yeah. And it will straight back. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? So automatic, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how it works, but, but 
but I don't know. <laughs> I like to be safe. <laughs> Y'all see it, man. He's not an automatic guy. <laughs> no. <laughs> what would you say is the one thing you would want to change about trucking? I just want them to to, to be more, uh, they say brokers. You know, I want more regulation on, on, on more transparency. Yeah. So everybody can make money. I, I, I'm not against brokers, all the stuff. I should believe that if we got transparency, you know, nobody will be you know pissed off you know it's it's transparency is basic you know and there's a lot of corrupted guys so you you need to attack those that those corrupted guys transparency mm -hmm. is the best option yeah keep it fair at yeah least. keep it fair you know transparency that's yeah. what it does you we know? all have families to feed exactly you know what would you say to the owner operators that out there that watch our page but they just haven't made the decision to come on board yet do it you know you know the Mercy guys, they're really nice guys. I've been working with them for a long time, you know. You know, if, you, if you're willing to work and put the hours and have your truck a little, you know, safe, you know, if being a safe driver, you don't want to regret it, you know. If you finish that lease in any of these trucks, it's going to be yours. It's going to be your title, you know, and it's going to be yours, and you're going to keep working here, you know, and make money, you know. That's simple. Cool, man. Well, I got orientation to get back to. All right. Thank you, man. Good take seeing you. Take care, man, and take care of that knee. Sure, I'll try, man. I'll, I'll do my best. <laughs> Good seeing you, man. Oh, man. We got to get you a shirt and some yeah. a hat. What size you wear? Uh, well, I'm dropping some pounds, so I think yeah, I'm... Right. That's what they all say. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm I'm large for now. X I was XL, so but I'm going down, so give me a large. Give you a large? Yeah. I'll give you a large and an XL. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case things don't go the way you want to go. <laughs> That's us. That's right. There you go. There you go. So let's go show y'all what the shop's working on. Let me walk in here and try not to get a concussion. Start here with Showstopper. Check this one out, y'all. This is one of our favorite ones. Unit 142. Pretty sharp ride. This one. Got a few things done to it, a couple tires on the drives, a couple steers, a uh, new clutch that got replaced, a few other things like the windshield. Let's go see what else they're working on though. Take it straight to Snow White. If y'all didn't see the video on this one, go check it out. We showed y'all the inside, the outside, everything you need to know about it. Pretty interesting on the inside on this one. This one we're thinking of going with uh, Orange cream pop, orange cream sickle. We heard peaches and cream. Let us know what's the name 398 here. It's hitting the road Monday, so we need a name before then. Comment down below. Let's take y'all over to 397 here. This one, the guy's coming in for it today, but he won't roll out till Monday. Pretty sharp ride, they're getting it right for him. They did some paint work, some engine work, some work on the inside, a few other things on it, getting her looking good, getting her ready for OTR work. Now, my man Calvin's here in unit 332. Shout out Calvin, man. He's also breeding dogs, so if y'all need some toy poodles or Frenchies, let us know. He's here on home time. He's getting a few things done on his truck, but it's looking good, looking good. This is an X unit 295, 2012 Coronado with a 13 speed. We're fixing it up. It might be for posted up for sale soon, so be out on the lookout. We're just trying to get it right before we even make that decision. We don't want to sell a truck that needs some work or we're not that we're not those type of guys. So they do anything from wash and detail to trailer repairs to engine overhaul. So if y'all need anything, hit them up, Merzik Truck Center. They'll take care of you. Thank you all for watching. We appreciate the love and support. Drop a like, comment, subscribe. We got more heat on the way.